Luna Classic is testing a crucial support level and if that sounds interesting you make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Pingu Charts here. Welcome back to another Luna Classic Analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. As you guys can see on Luna Classic, we have almost tested my major support level once again at the 14 mark. We are starting to see some bullish price action in terms of the 4-hour chart around the 14 aspect of it. You can see that we did find multiple retests of this level and now a strong bullish engulfing candle trying to break above these exponential moving averages. I did want to talk about a few things in this video. Number one, of course, is in terms of a bullish case scenario if we were to have a successful double bottom formation what we're looking for is a strong bullish engulfing candle to try to break above these exponential moving averages find them as support and a continuation now in terms of luna classic we have seen this pattern happen many times before we saw the same sort of formation here at 22 and as well as the 29 mark we saw the same formation where we actually tested these support levels had a nice bullish continuation and immediately after dumped what we're looking for right now now is a strong bullish engulfing candle trying to overtake these levels here at 22. Once we find that level taken control of, find it as support and a continuation, that would indicate that we did find somewhat of a local bottom and now Luna Classic is ready to continue pushing forward. From a bearish case scenario, of course, if we do see another fake out opportunity and another retest around these levels and a continuation, I would be very closely keeping an eye around this 18 mark to see whether or not Luna Classic acts as a resistance point. Of course, if we do see that resistance area is being tested and rejected, then we know we will definitely be looking to test my overall level here at 86. And for those of you that are now watching the video for the first time, the reason why the 86 level is, of course, important is because that acts as a very strong support level on Luna Classic. You can see even on previous price analysis, we test this level multiple times before we finally had that breakout opportunity and an explosive move on Luna Classic overall. Looking at the hourly time frames for Luna Classic as of right now, you can see we are still pretty much right above the exponential moving averages, starting to see some sort of rejection candlesticks. But this is the first time in a very long time we are now seeing some explosive action, right? Before we were pretty much just trading below these exponential moving averages pretty much for the past few days. And now we have a strong bullish engulfing candle breaking above the exponential moving averages. I would expect at least on the hourly a take profit level around that 18 mark. And the reason, of course, is why I keep emphasizing that 18 level is if you look on the hourly time frames, you can see that this level specifically right over here acts as a very strong resistance point for Luna. You can see that we actually tested this level multiple times on the support as well as the resistance side of things. So I would be expecting some take profit levels over there, see whether or not we can actually use that level as support. And then the continuation would be the ideal area for Luna Classic to continue pushing forward. Looking at the, of course, the four hour time frames, you can see we did have have a nice bounce because of the fact that we were entering oversold conditions on RSI as well as entering a crucial support level once again. I would of course be very very eager to see whether or not this support level is actually tested, see that wick on the downside and see whether or not this level can hold because at the end of the day if we do get a very nice hold and a continuation on these levels and some strong bullish engulfing candles that definitely could be a double bottom confirmation but I am still leaning towards a bearish case scenario on Luna Classic as of right now because there is no volume coming in into the market pretty much from all the way up here around the 31 mark we have slowly been consolidating and bleeding downwards so there's not really much i would expect in terms from a bullish case scenario that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a wonderful day